What's up guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Today I want to show you how to do a rear quarter panel comp cut, cut and fold, as they call it, for the Cherokee. Now if you're wondering why my quarter panel is sitting on a bench and not on a Jeep, well you need to go check out my channel and subscribe over there and start following. So I won't uh, bother you with that. If you follow along you know exactly why this is over here. And uh, we are going to do the comp cut on this, so I figured I might as well show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let me first tell you why people do the cut and fold on the Cherokees here. This sticks down pretty far. The Cherokee has a big rear end to begin with. And this sticks down below the rear tire here basically and when you're off-roading or whatever you come over a, a drop-off this is going to get crunched so to avoid that what you can do is fold it up there's a lot of aftermarket parts in fact that include bumpers and uh, quarter panel armor uh, that take into account that people are already going to have done this modification so um, it's just some sheet metal all you have to do is make some cuts and then fold the metal right at this line right here. So it's pretty simple. Let me show you the first thing that I did. The first thing that I did, and basically I just did this to show you, but you're going to do this too, is you're going to cut out this little triangular piece. Now, it's easy to see where to cut right here. And that's because this metal has already been folded over from this side. So all you have to do is cut along that line where the folded metal is. We're going to use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to do that. You could also use, I guess, a Dremel tool if you uh, had lots of spare time. Then the next cut that we're going to use, that we're going to cut, is uh, straight across. So take this edge, not this top edge, but it comes down and then it goes down again. So take that edge and draw a straight line across horizontally. And you're going to cut that and then you're going to cut somewhere over here doesn't really matter just as long as it's inside of this section here now on the on the rear I'm gonna cut this completely out on the front uh, I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna fold that triangular piece in on the top layer I'll show you that here in a minute so now that you've done that you can see inside here you can actually see inside there from the inside as well if you take your uh, plastics off. So the next thing that we need to do we're gonna cut somewhere along down here and we're gonna fold this piece up. This left piece is gonna fold up to the right. This right piece is gonna fold up to the left and it's gonna make a flat spot right along here. So to do that what we need to do is get a measuring tape. We're gonna measure down from each side. So this side I want to go on the inside so I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. So I've measured and marked right here four inches. So I'm going to mark down four inches on this side, mark four inches on the other side, and then I'm going to cut a line. I've already marked it back here. You can't see it but I've cut a line. I've marked a line straight across at four inches over here. On this side it's a little farther out between five or six inches. Just enough that this will come all the way up and meet right here. So here's what I mean. That one is uh, five inches. So this one on the right side, we want it to be five inches long so that it covers up this hole. So I've marked five inches down from where we're going to bend it and made a line right here and marked that line all the way across. It's a little hard to see, but that's the line right there. Five inches all the way across coming down from this edge. Now on the later model Cherokees, you're also going to have this little uh, piece which holds the plastic in. All you need to do with that is take your die grinder, cut the uh, rivets off, and pull this off. We'll patch those holes later. You can weld them shut or you can just use RTV or whatever. Now on the front side here you have this pinch seam. So we're going to take that and we're just going to cut that off even with this line where we're going to fold everything up. So make a straight line across here and then we want to keep this little edge right here that'll help uh, fold up and over and kind of keep the water out give you a better seal 
So we're going to cut this line right there. Okay. Now for this little triangular piece in here, all I've done is taken and drawn a line from that four inch mark on the inside back here to that five inch mark on the outside over here. And we're gonna cut straight across there. Don't cut up here, we're gonna fold that in. Let's get to cutting. Now there's just one more piece I forgot to tell you about and that is this little cut right here. Then we'll be able to fold this in, this in, and this in like a cardboard box. Can't quite get all the way down into the corner with that uh, angle grinder, so I'll use a sawzall to finish up. Okay, now check this out. I'm just going to take this, and push it down. Probably be better if I had a hammer. We're going to do this one. All right. Now before we fold this one down, we need to bend this edge out a little bit with some pliers. Now you could choose to cut this off completely. You could go on the inside, but I've always uh, bent it out and put it right here along the outside. Then uh, if, you have a, if you don't weld, you can have a place to rib it, you can have a place to bolt it down, or you can still have a good place to weld it on the outside lip here. Okay. Now we're just going to fold along that crease right there. You don't really want to smack this with the hammer because you'll dent it. But just give it some muscle and it should go because it's already bent right there.
I'm just going to use a rubber mallet and gently bend it a little more uh, angular right across that line right there. Cut a little piece right here. Okay, guys, well, that's it. It's a pretty simple job. Now depending on your skill set, you can either uh, weld this together, you could use rivets to hold it all together, you could use bolts. In that case, all you're going to do is drill up from the underside here, put some rivets in it, put some bolts in it, or just weld it up around the edges. Heck, I've seen some guys just use RTV to hold it together. But once you are done, you probably do want to seal that up pretty good. You don't want water getting in there, so you can either RTV it on the outside, uh, put some silicone sealant on there. You can do the same thing on the inside Whatever you prefer. Thanks a lot guys. I hope you learned something hit the thumbs up subscribe and check out the bleep and Jeep website for our awesome Jeep fan t-shirts and uh, Jeep history t-shirts as well. We'll see you next time oh,